Tell you what happened again to me yesterday. One of the most common things I'm now told by people 55, 60, older is I've seen the best of Australia. And that's how I feel too. I've seen the best of Australia and I feel so sorry for younger people who've now got to deal with the mess that's coming. Tell you what. In fact, today, so, so much crazy stuff around. There's too much for me. So to help make sense of it, I brought in a special panel. Tim Smith, a Victorian Liberal MP, who unlike most Liberals down there, doesn't muck around. And Kosha Garda, who's a tech entrepreneur, a commentator, and so many more things that I don't have time to mention them all. Good to see you both. Uh, Kosha, for one, let me start with this. We're now so short of electricity, right, that the market operator today is warning people in New South Wales this time, it was Queensland's turn yesterday, to switch off stuff. Here he is. What I'm saying right now is that in New South Wales, we are, in, in particular in New South Wales, we're concerned about the supply and demand balance for this evening um, and potentially tomorrow. And we would urge consumers in New South Wales only um, to conserve energy where it's safe to do so. Now, Kosha, I'm a less forgiving person than you, uh, but here's my suggestion. First off, Anyone who bought an electric car to save the planet should now be banned from charging it in New South Wales to save the people instead, because they're part of the problem. Cut them off. What do you reckon? Good to be with you, Andrew. Look, I think from an optics perspective um, and a messaging perspective, that's fair because there's a lot of sermonizing that happens uh, from folks that can afford the luxury of a sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollar and above electric car, where the everyday man and woman cannot. But from a reality standpoint, unfortunately, it won't actually move the needle too much. I hate to say, in terms of solving this crisis that we're in for energy, including electricity, there are something like twenty million cars on the roads in Australia, and only about forty thousand electric vehicles. That's 0.2 percent. So even if you eliminated all of them, and it would be a great sort of slap in the face for, for the sermonizing, it actually won't move the needle. The problem here is there's a structural <laughs> issue that has been happening for a long time coming, and uh, there are many issues that went into that. It is not just because of Ukraine and Russia. There's like many issues that have been leading up to this, and there's uh, bigger, deeper problems that need to be solved in Kosher, order to Kosher, solve this Kosher. issue, um, and I don't see it happening. I'm not going to hear this stuff about it. Won't... I'm not going to hear this stuff. It won't make much of a difference. Australia cutting its emissions won't make much of a difference, but these are the same people that say we should just do it to prove that we've got good hearts. 